Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very special problem and it's a, it's a very tough problem, tough nut to crack. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. Name of this problem is winding off elastic string or a spring on a cylinder. So guys, my courses are starting from uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Uh, uh, the courses are on uh, solid and fluid mechanics thermodynamics uh, the date is uh, slightly rectified it is uh, 9th and 10th 8th and 9th and rm batch is starting uh, today for je 2022 so those who are in 11th and going to 12th and if they haven't done uh, good enough in uh, their 11th class so this is the right batch for them We'll be completing two years syllabus in that uh, right from uh, 11th till uh, 12th portion completely. And guys, there is a very special event and uh, I must say all of you must take part in this. This is uh, Unacademy Race ITJ. It is a rank accelerated uh, competitive exam. Basically, it's a scholarship exam, uh, especially for class 10th student and for class uh, 11th students. It's happening on 10th January, so make sure if in your circle somebody is there, uh, you just uh, put a word to them because uh, there is a very great uh, rewards, I can say. Uh, the two years, uh, uh, you can say, subscription of an academy for many, many students. And uh, guys, you can access my theory courses, which are advanced plus plus levels and uh, for boosting your J preparation. Definitely, these courses are going to make a lot of difference. When I say a lot of difference, I really mean it. And uh, you can unlock uh, free courses on Unacademy using my code NITINSER. Whenever it is asking for some password or invite code, you can use this. And trust me, physics will never be the same again. You can visit uh, www.unacademy.com for more information about the Unacademy Race ITJ. I'll, uh, the links are given in the description. You can check. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. A uniform solid cylinder of mass M and radius R can freely rotate around uh, uh, its axis O and there is a spring of relaxed length L and stiffness K attached to the uh, cylinder and uh, a static wall. And uh, the diagram is given initially the spring is relaxed as the cylinder start rotating the spring will wind the cylinder the surface of cylinder is very rough so that spring does not slip with the cylinder surface find the minimum initial angular velocity or angular speed of the cylinder omega naught so that it can rotate to angle of 2 pi so there is this uh, fixed wall and this is the elastic cord I'll uh, I'll take it as elastic cord, but the author has given the elastic, uh, you can say spring, but actually practically if you want to have this kind of situation, it must be elastic cord. So I'll be dealing with the elastic cord, though behavior is going to be the same and even the answer. So there is this disc or a cylinder and it is going to rotate with initial angular velocity of omega naught. So you have to see what is going to happen in this case. So let's discuss the concept part. So here, uh, as I have written here, an elastic string or a spring can be treated as a series combination of uh, small, small springs. And uh, let's assume each part has length of X and uh, total combined length of L. And if the spring constant or the stiffness of length X is small k, then I can uh, surely write that uh, small k into the length of that part that is x is equal to k naught l. Alright, so uh, when you cut the springs basically, the k of uh, each part and its length, its product is always going to be the same. This is the property of uh, spring. We are going to use this. And uh, as you can see, when we are rotating this uh, cylinder by an angle of d theta, then the length of string winding on the cylinder will be given by R D theta. All right. So R D theta is that small length which will be winding on uh, uh, the cylinder when cylinder rotates by an angle of D theta. So guys here just you see this equation. 
uh, if I differentiate this right side is a constant so I am going to get k dx plus x dk and if I simplify this uh, dk by k is minus dx by x now this dx is basically related to the change in length when original length is l and uh, that angle rotated is d theta so r d theta will work as uh, dx and since it is decreasing minus of minus r d theta i am writing so i am going to get dk by k as uh, r d theta by l now this way i can find out how the spring constant k is changing with the angle theta so it's a very simple relation uh, ln k by k naught is equal to r theta by l or i can say k is equal to k naught into e to the power r theta by l i hope you are able to follow this part next is if at any instant the length of unwinding string is uh, l so what i'm saying is whatever part is left this length I am taking as L. So how much length is already present on this part? The length present on this part is uh, capital L minus L. So I can write here this spring force, the change in length. I can write uh, it as K times L minus L. So this uh, torque also I can write uh, the spring force is going to act in this direction I am taking. So this tau f spring I can write as k times L minus L into R and here tau is equal to I alpha I can write. So alpha I can write as minus, d omega, minus omega d omega by d theta and you see here k L minus small l I can use this relation small k into L is equal to k naught L naught. So if I substitute that value of L in this equation, uh, I'll be getting it as uh, KL minus K naught L. So just take that L outside and rearrange the variables. I'm going to get omega d omega one side with, of course, with negative sign. And here I can take few things common to L by MR, K minus K naught D theta. Now already I have calculated this K as a function of theta. So I'm going to substitute uh, this value of K in this particular equation when I substitute here I am getting uh, a nice equation here where omega d omega is one side and this uh, theta function d theta is one side when I integrate it angular velocity goes from uh, omega naught to zero because we are checking with minimum omega so once it rotates by an angle of 2 pi the omega reduces from omega to zero so 2 k naught l by mr integral 0 to 2 pi e to the power r theta by l minus 1 d theta when i simplify i'm not explaining this calculations to you uh, we are going to get this uh, omega naught square 4 k naught uh, l square by mr square e to the power 2 pi r by l minus r by l minus 2 pi r by l or i can say omega is root of this uh, big quantity inside so this is going to be the final answer for this problem. It's, it's a very, very difficult. If you face such type of problem in the exam hall, clicking that is, uh, I feel, is going to be very tough. All right, so I'll, let me tell you more about uh, this Unacademy race. So already I have told you these are uh, 10th January, uh, 12 to 3 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 6 p.m scholarship test and the rewards for uh, 10th class students you can uh, see 10th going to 11th for top 5 ranker it will be 2 years ITJ plus subscription so that's huge guys that's huge the kind of content we deliver at uh, unacademy is uh, unparalleled you can uh, you know keep the notes uh, sideways and you can verify that fact so two years completely you know if you are participating and you are getting uh, one of the best rank here then that's like uh, a really good thing and similarly for uh, class 11 top five rankers they are going to get one year idje plus subscription 
so guys make sure that uh, if you are in 10th or if you are going uh, you are in 11th you are writing this test and securing uh, these rewards they are really handsome rewards i must say all right guys i hope you have enjoyed this problem it's a, a little rare problem and uh, really tough also so if you have enjoyed this solution please leave a like share this uh, video and channel with others and i'll be coming up very soon with another video thank you